welcome to Konsan. If you see, there was a, a good, good move in Tata Communications. So from 31st of May itself, the stock was trying to prepare itself for a good up move on the upside. What happens in on 1st of June, there was a good breakout in Tata Communications. And since then, the stock has moved up by over 20 percentage. Do you want to trade breakouts confidently? But do you face these problems, which I have faced a lot of times? Number one, participating in a fake breakout. Number two, that buying a stock just because it is down by 10 or 15 percentage or it has slipped by 10, 15 percentage in the past. Number three, creating a directional strategy in a stock where there is no action happening whatsoever. The stock stock is not moving at all. We go ahead and create a bullish or a bearish strategy there in expectation of an up move. So these are problems which I at least uh, have faced a lot of times and I'm pretty sure most of us might have faced this. So if I want to trade a breakout confidently, there are few things what I want. Number one thing is that I will never go ahead and uh, participate or create a bullish strategy in a stock which is moving downwards where, where the price action is telling me that it is completely beaten down, it is completely downwards, going moving downwards. Why? Because just imagine one thing that the stock has slipped so much. Does this one percentage of up move or whatever the up move is, does it offset the entire fall which has happened in the stock? The answer to that is no. Second thing is, whenever I want to go ahead and create a trade or a directional trade, a breakout or breakdown, I will not go ahead and create it in this type of stock. Why? Because the chances of this stock not moving at all might increase. Third thing is that I will not participate in a move unless a lot of participants are participating in it. That means unless there is not huge participation happening in the stock, I will not participate there. So I told you what not to do. So let me just tell you what to do. Number one thing is if I want to trade a directional uh, trade, if I want to create a directional trading strategy, what I want for a bullish trade, simple. I want a strong price action, something like this, which is telling me that the price action of the stock has been pretty good. If I want to create a bearish trade, I want to find out a stock where the prices are moving something like this. Now coming to the second point along with these. Okay. So if it is bullish or bearish, the price action will tell you if it is moving upwards, it's bullish. If it is moving downwards, it's bearish. Along with this, what will validate that the trend will continue? The open interest will validate that this trend, which is happening in the stock, it might continue. If I'm creating a bullish trade, still I want the open interest to get added. That means the open interest should be at the high. If I'm creating a bearish trade, even then I want the open interest to go up. Doesn't matter if it is a bullish or a bearish trade. What I want, the open interest participation in the instrument should increase. Why? The logic is very simple. They are expecting the trend to continue. That is the reason they are participating. Na? If there is a bullish or a bearish trend, that won't matter. But as long as the open interest is at the high, I am interested in that stock. So these are only two things what I want. A strong price action along with OI participation. And empirically, it has been observed that the moves which were backed up by additional participation had higher probability of sustaining. So now, how do I scan? I know what I want. Just a price action, the stock moving up along with OI moving up. But how do I go ahead and identify those precious gems out of 180 plus FMS scripts? It's impossible, right? I can't go ahead and keep on switching from Tata Communications to Reliance to Tata Steel, JSW Steel. And hey traders, Quantsap has simplified option trading analytics for you. Click the link in the description box below, complete your sign up process and access the most advanced option analytical tools in the entire industry. Thank you. On those things. So for that, we have a very simple analytic in our application, which is named as price OI percentile. So the link would be there in the description box below. Also, that it, it would be there in the I card. If you have the application, all you need to do is just use the search symbol and just search for price. Can't it be done without price OI percentile? It can be done easily. Okay. But only thing is you need to go ahead and scan the stocks one by one. So all we need to do is just open price OI percentile. 
So before I get into the analytic, let me just quickly explain you the concept of percentile and why we need it. So we need it because let's say there would be a lot of stocks. I can't define just by looking at charts if which stock has a, has a strong or a poor price action. So for that, we need a concept called a concept of percentile. So what is percentile? Percentile is very simple. It is trying to tell you the percentage of data points which were observed below the current data. Whatever the current data is, how much percentage of historical days that data fall under the current market price or current data. So let's say price percentile. So what is price percentile? Percentile trying to tell you the percentage of days the stock's prices were trading below the current market price. Similarly, what is Y percentile? Y percentile is trying to tell you the percentage of days historical Y was below the current open interest. Simple, the number of days, num the number of days uh, the stock's prices or open interest was below the current open interest or price. So let me just give you a very quick example. Let's say price percentile. If price percentile is at 99, that means what? Let's say if this is the CMP, if this is the CMP, if this is where we are placed, price. So what it is trying to tell you, whatever the historical prices were, 99 percentage of times, they traded below the current market price. That means what? That means the stock's prices have spiked up. Okay. Similarly, if price percentile is 50, that means what? And let's say this is CMP. This is historical. So what it is trying to tell us that 50 percentage it was above and rest 50 percentage it was below. If the price percentile, let's say is at 10, that means the prices are moving something like this. Only 10 percentage of times it uh, traded below the current price. So let's say this is where the current price is. Say if we are placed somewhere over here, it is trying to tell only 10 percentage of times they traded below the current price, rest all the times the prices were trading above the current market price. To keep it very simple in one liner, price percentile at high, that means the prices are at high. OI percentile at high, that will tell us the OI percentile, uh, the open interest participation is also high. On vice versa on the downside, price percentile low, that means the prices are at the bottom, something like this. OI percentile low, that will tell us that the OI participation is not happening. So what we want, simple now, what we want, we want, if I want to create a bullish trade, I want price percentile to be high and OI percentile should be also high. If I want to create a bullish trade, I want price percentile to be low, prices should move something like this, but OI participation should be high. Why? Because I want this entire trend to continue once again. So looking at this, simple bars over here, we can easily identify. And this is the best part about our application. You don't need to confuse yourself with numbers. You just look at these bars. They will tell you if the prices have spiked up or they are cooled down, where the prices have play, are being placed. Are they at the top or are, are, are they at the bottom? Just look at this. The filled green bar, wherever the bars are completely green, completely filled till top with green color, that will tell you that the prices are at the top because that is how it is created. Percentile high, the green will be filled completely till the top. Similarly, on the OI front, if I just show you, you see there is, just imagine it as a glass of water. More filled the glasses with the water, more topped up the open interest will be. Less the, uh, less the open interest participation, less the blue will be. The more empty the glass will be basically. So now, if I just show you ABB, price percentile is 99. Y percentile is 39.44. That means current ABB's prices are at the 99 percentile. Historically, whatever the prices were of ABB, of last 180 days, obviously there is look back period. Considering how much look back period you want to uh, use to calculate the percentile. So it is trying to tell you that 99 percentage of the times historical prices of ABB of last 180 days traded below the current price of ABB. That means the current prices are spiked up. So if I want to trade a breakout, it is simple. I will click on sort by 
click on price percentile and just identify the stocks with price percentile above 90 that will tell me the prices have spiked up and OI percentile also above 90 that will tell me that the open interest participation is also happening that is for the bullish trade price percentile above 90 OI percentile above 90 is something I will try to find out why again the price action is good along with additional OI participation similarly if I want to participate on a downside trade just click on the arrow beside it and just identify the stocks with Y percentile below 10 that will tell me that the current price of the stocks they have cooled down along with additional Y participation again the Y percentile should be also above 90. So let me just show you a excellent example of Tata communications which uh, we had found out so you can click on this Tata communications and just open it symbol wise percentile. So if you just see Tata communications, so if I just show you on 31st of uh, uh, May what happened. So 31st of May, the stock was on the verge of having a breakout. So if you see price percentile is 75, that means the prices are strong. OI participation, 82.78. That means the OI and price, they are both telling you that both of these are moving in the upwards direction. That means the up moves which are happening in Tata communications, that those are being backed up by additional participation so now what i want so simple i want only one thing from now that whenever it goes above 90 that is the time i will create a trade when it goes above 90 it goes above 90 on 2nd of june right so when the price of tata communications was uh 1361 1361 now if you see since then the stock has moved up to 1463.25 so good up move from 2nd of, second of June uh, in the stock till 12th of June. 1361 the stock has moved up to 1463, which is a very big up move which has happened in Tata Communication. So now what do we want? Price percentile above 90, OI percentile above 90 for a bullish trade, for a bearish trade, price percentile below 10, OI percentile above 90. In both the cases, OI percentile should be above 90. So do access price OI percentile. The link would be there in the description box below and trade breakouts confidently and with an edge.